the manner of their appearance. Point four. Also, he writes, were ideas entirely loose and unconnected, chance it alone would join them, and it is impossible the same simple ideas should fall regularly into complex ones as they commonly do without some bond of union among them, some associating quality by which one idea naturally introduces another. This uniting principle among ideas is not to be considered as an inseparable connection, for that has been already five excluded from the imagination, nor yet are we to conclude that without it the mind cannot join two ideas, for nothing is more free than that faculty, but we are only to regard it as a gentle which commonly prevails, and is the cause why, among other things, languages so nearly correspond to each other. Nature, in a manner, pointing out to everyone those simple ideas, which are most proper to be united into a complex 1.6 is a final quotation, to illustrate Hume's employment of the third notion, we have, the idea of a substance as well as that of a mode, is nothing but a collection of simple ideas that are united by the imagination and have a particular name assigned them but the difference betwixt these three treatise bk i part one sec i four treatise Thank you. 
legal principle, at least not when enunciated in Hume's unguarded fashion. Hume himself, in the passage Part 1, Sect, I.D. quoted above for its relevance to the job.
an instance two bodies, or motions, or qualities, in certain relations of succession and continuity, so our memory presents us only with a multitude of instances wherein we 134. Discussions and applications. Always find like bodies, motions, or qualities in like relations.
adjusting pair of elements in experience, clustering round the notion of time, namely, endurance, and change. Descartes emphasizes the notion 207 of substance also emphasizes change. Hume, who minimizes the notion of substance, similarly emphasizes change. He writes, now is time is composed of parts that are not coexistent, an unchangeable object, since it produces none but coexistent impression, produces none that can give us the idea of time, and, consequently, that idea must be derived from a succession of changeable objects, and time in its first appearance can never be severed from such a succession point one zero whereas Descartes writes.
about itself, and tacitly the knowable facts are always treated as qualities of a subject or subject being the mind. His final criticism of the notion of the mind does not alter the plain fact that the whole is a previous. Discussion has a of this presupposition. His final criticism only exposes the metaphysical superficiality of this proceeding exposition. In the philosophy of organism, a subject predicate proposition is considered as expressing a high abstraction. The metaphysical superiority of lock over Hume is exhibited in his wide use of the term idea, which Locke himself introduced in Hume's canon. Its use marks the fact that his tacit subject predicate bias Thank <laughs> you. 